This is going to be an introduction to the workflow that was created in Safe Software's Feature Manipulation Engine, the workbench for the 2018.1 version. So first, we input a file of parameters to search from that was created in Notepad++, and we just give it an ID, area name, lat long coordinates, search radius, and then the units for the search, and then our keywords and phrases that we want to have pulled out of tweet content. So next, for each of those keywords, we want to create its own point based off those lat long values, and then also we told it to use the World Geodetics System 1984 for the coordinate system. So in order not to hit Twitter so hard, we inserted a decelerator and put it at five seconds per feature and then add, added the tweet searcher and that's going to go cycle through all our keywords and pull out all content that matches those values. And then next, we just identified which attributes uh, was were coming from the Twitter data, as well as our original search parameters file that we input. And then that takes us to two little sub workflows that we created. You can see that the top workflow goes straight across into uh, this next bookmark and that's just for all the tweets that were filtered out from that original search. So below that we needed to create spatial representation for tweets so first we filtered out the tweets that had geolocation turned on, which eliminated most of the results that were originally filtered out. So because the format is in JSON, we needed to pull out the XY data, but first we had to tell it to clean up and remove some extra characters and so then after that we were able to recreate points based on those results from the original test filter in this bookmark to pull out just the geo located tweets so the next one we noticed that one of the fields still had nested data so we extracted the full text, which was the actual tweet content that we're interested in, out of both the geotagged and then the full data set of the filtered tweets. And then next, we just cleaned up the attribute fields, field names, and then the results went into two different CSV files. The first one just contained all those filtered, keyword filtered results. And then the second one has only the geotag tweets that we're interested in. These resulting files will allow for the geotag tweets to be plotted on web maps, and the full set of filtered Twitter results could be analyzed by topic through the plentiful tweet content that was not geotagged. 